friends i welcome all of you for this sixth online lecture on behalf of our director professor reverend dr shanti thomas sachin on behalf of all of our team today our topic is sound of silence and the role of music in the pandemic from mizoram context we will listen prelude from mizo instrumental music i request reverend johanna to play this song please sorry please wait <clears throat> i have to open it the first take your time yes sorry Johanna, yes. Audio, please. Hmm? You see no audio. audio. Yeah, there is no audio. Will you please switch audio on? Thank you very much for this incredible instrumental music of Mizos. Let me introduce the Reverend Alfred Sudarshan Raju, who is going to pray for us this in this webinar. 
Reverend Alfred Sudarshan Raju is ordained pastor in Methodist Church of in India. He is serving as a pastor in Sarjapura Road Methodist Church, which is an extension of Koramangala Methodist Church. His wife's name is Sangeeta George. He has two children, Davies and Daniela. Aya, thank you very much for joining with us. We are fortunate to have you. I request you to kindly offer a word of prayer, please. Thank you. Thank you, Sukhuji. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, we thank you and we praise you. We give you honor for enabling us to see this new day. Thank you for this new opportunity that you have given to us to come together in this manner, to proclaim your goodness and mercies in each one of our lives. This evening, we, your people, humble servants, O oh Lord, united in our spirits, we come before your throne of grace and thank you for this webinar on sound of silence and the role of music in this pandemic, Mizoram context. We commit this session into your mighty care, O oh Lord, you be with us. You are the God one who has created us. You have created us uniquely and differently. You have given us different skills. We thank you and we praise you. This evening, our hearts rejoice and give you glory for creating the entire universe. As Psalmist encourages us to praise you with trumpet sound, with lute and harp, with tambourine and dance, and with sounding cymbals and loud clashing cymbals. This evening, O oh Lord, we come before your throne of praise. O oh Lord, acknowledging and praising you for all the talents that we could see in your creation. We especially want to thank you for all the people of Mizoram, Lord, all the music they were able to produce. Thank you for the skill, Heavenly Father, as your servant, Reverend Joanna, brings discussion as he brings the stories from his context, Heavenly Father, inspire us, encourage us, and motive us, motivate each one of us to worship you in our own context. We also commit our moderator, Ms. Michele Crowder. We commit our director of ECC. We commit Minloon and also our our dear pastor, Sukuji, we commit each one of us and all the participants, you'll be the alpha and the omega of this session and may you re receive all glory, honor and praise through this. For we ask this prayer in the holy and blessed name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much indeed, Reverend Alfred Subhashinai Guru for such a wonderful prayer. Let me introduce the moderator for this webinar. Ms. Michele Crowder from United States of America. Michele Crowder was born in Germany. She is brought up in the United States. She is an artist, a creative designer. She is an actor. She is a singer in music ministry. She is a multi talented person. She attends the Greater Vision Community Church in Texas. She is a member of several churches in Minnesota. She studied in Texas Lutheran University. Michelle Crowder, we are fortunate to have you as a moderator. Despite your busy schedule, you spend time with us. We are really grateful to you. Now I give this time to the moderator, Michelle Crowder, to moderate this session. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you so very much for welcoming me. Thank you, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day and a bright start to your brand new week. Um, well, today's lecture is the sixth lecture in a series of 10 online webinars organized by the Ecumenical Center, Christian Center of Bangalore, India, on the theme of Sound of Silence and the role of music in the pandemic. So far, we have seen five webinars, such as North Indian music, Indonesian music, tribal kuki music, Kannada music, and Tamil Nadu music. So today, we have the sixth webinar on Mizra. A special thank you is due to the Director of Ecumenical Christian Center in Bangalore, um, Professor Reverend Dr. Shem P. Thomas Akin for giving this opportunity, along with my friend Sukumar for extending this invitation. And now I would like to introduce you to our speaker for today, Dr. Reverend, I, I always call Reverend's doctors, that's a habit. Please excuse me. Reverend Johanna Wangchia. Reverend Johanna belongs to the Mizoram Presbyterian Church, is the assistant professor of missionary training college in Mizoram. 
and has studied a Bachelor of Theology in Iswell Theological College as well, a Bachelor of Divinity from United Theological College of Bangalore, and has also obtained the Master of Theology at Gukuro Lutheran Theological Center and Research Institute in Chennai. Reverend Johanna has a lovely family of three children and wife Irene, and we are so very blessed to have him with us today. Thank you so much, Reverend. Okay, thank you, friends. <clears throat> and thank you, my dear friend, Reverend Sukumar, for uh, inviting me to give a lecture. And on the sound of silence and the role of music in the pandemic in Mizoram context. I'll be sharing my, uh, I'll be presenting through PowerPoint. Okay, our topic today is uh, sound of silence and the music, the role of music in the pandemic, Mizoram context. I think most of you are new to, uh, some of us are new to, even to the name Mizoram uh, also. So that's a uh, way I prepared myself to give a short glimpse about the, well, is Mizoram and who are the people living in Mizoram. So Mizoram, it's demographically, it's situated in the northeastern part of India. If you look at the political map of India, you will see uh, at the right side of you, there is a kind of uh, branch, like a tree branch, uh, a small portion, uh, which is a little bit, uh, a kind of, apart uh, afar from the mainland india so at the at and the, that is called the northeastern region of india at the southernmost point of uh, the northeast india lies uh, mizoram state so it is uh, situated in the northeast part of india it shares international border with myanmar and bangladesh respectively and also it also shares interstate border with three other states, namely Assam, Tripura, and Manipur. And it has an area of 21,081 square kilometers. Uh, and its maximum dimension north to south is to 85 kilometers. As per the 2011 census since, yeah, last year it, it was supposed it was supposed to the government of india was supposed to conduct uh, a census which was due uh, but due to the pandemic i guess uh, the census the of the whole india could not be conducted so we have to rely on the 2011 census mizoram has a population of uh, 1,097,206 of which um, a little more than half of the whole population are male. So the ethnic history, they ethnically, the, the, those who are living in Mizoram are called the Mizos or Mizo clan. So they are ethnically Tibeto-Burman ethnic tribe. Their origin is a kind of, uh, well, we can say, yeah, it is unknown. Uh, most of the theories relating to the, the, the origin of the, uh, the tribe is mostly from the myths. It is generally accepted that the clan originated from China and descended to, to their present, the present Mizoram occupation for fear of bigger clan or others, uh, different uh, factors might also play a role in them, in them moving down to the present land from the supposed origin 
which was in China. And also most of the knowledge came from originally or orally, orally told legions because uh, we did not keep our uh, forefathers, let me be exclusive in the, the forefathers did not uh, make keep uh, in written reports. So scholars are led to believe that the Mizos migrated from Chow, Southwest China around 100 BC, the nomadic who are moving all the, all the, all the time, eventually settled in Shan state in uh, Myanmar, the Eastern part of Myanmar around the, the fifth century. Then they lived there for about 300 years. Then after that, they uh, moved down to Mizoram. So uh, political, it has a little a short political history it is a mountainous region which becomes uh, the 23rd state of the India Union uh, on February 9, 1987. And uh, previously it was one of the district of the present Assam when it became Union territory. So the indigenous inhabitants, the people are known as Mizo. So for over the two decades, Mizoram has experienced peace and steady program and the peace accord which was signed in 1986 has a distinction of being enduring and successful peace accord in the history of independent India. And in the year 1986, Mizoram has attained statehood under the Union India. So uh, if we, since we are going to talk about the uh, role of music in the pandemic, I prepared myself to let us have a glimpse of music, Mizou music history. So Mizou, the origin of music, Mizou music is a kind of mis mis mystery. Some say that uh, after listening to the music played by their neighboring um, people, the, who were called the poi, they started to develop their own singing and other types of music. But we have seen some couplets that are developed during the settlement in Burma, which was estimated between 1300 and 1480. Uh, one of the historians of among the Mizos, Bidal Tangliana, uh, claimed that the folk songs developed during this period were Dar uh, Gong. Uh, songs for the gong and war chants and hlado, which is chance of hunting after they successfully hunted down the and the, uh, the wild animals uh, they chant a song at the entry entrance of the village and a greater development of the songs can be seen from the settlement in burma which was estimated between the late 15th to 17th century ad then there, there was a development in the songs and music. Triplets were found during the settlement of the Lentlang. The Mizos occupied the present Mizoram from late 17th century. Uh, the, and, and that period is uh, known another important era, era in the history of Mizo folk literature. And uh, we can divide Mizo traditional music, Mizo music into uh, uh, the following 10 categories, like uh, these are the names of the songs, uh, the classifications of the song, like the, the first one is Bola, that is the chant or Christ raised by the warrior. And I like ways that we have different, 10 different types of classification of Mizo uh, song, uh, which were uh, somewhere uh, war cry somewhere, uh, the cry raised by the hunters, somewhere invocation and incantation of the spirit, and somewhere named after the gong, and somewhere the, in, sung in the festive occasion. So I will not go deep the detail into this classification. So of all the, all the Mizo music can be given major themes. So they were composed and sung uh, for the war, hunting and love, which is a romantic song, nature and patriotism and uh, devotional. And we, I, will, I would like to share you a short glimpse of Mizou 
musical instruments. So scholars divide missile musical instrument into six types. Some of the, the first one are the beating or striking instrument, which are beaten. In order to play, they have to, uh, uh, a musician has to beat or strike the instrument like kuang, which is a drum made of a hollow uh, wood lock, which is made hollow inside. Then for the skin, uh, animal's skin was used. Uh, and also uh, some gongs and uh, the horn of uh, mitun and other types of uh, beating instrument and wind, wind instrument they are mainly made uh, made from uh, different types of bamboo and also uh, stems of the rice paddy and the leaves are also made use as a very very uh, sentimental musical instrument and stringed instrument also we have something like a guitar which we used to see so here are some pictures here the, the picture which i display is a drum uh, which we use uh, call it as kuang which is even used presently in the worship service inside the churches and also uh, there are other the, this, this is also the uh, the wind instrument which I displayed right now. So a glimpse of Mizo music, uh, the, ent the, the entry of Miss Christian missionary into uh, the Mizoram had played a vital role in the development and uh, evolution of the Mizo music. So Christian missionaries uh, came into Mizoram um, and they started to introduce uh, Western hymns, and they even translated the Western hymns uh, to be sung in praise of God. So the composition of sung other than the hymn, uh, also a, by listening to those songs, uh, the Mizo people, the indigenous Mizo people started to compose by their own, which are not necessarily uh, Christian devotional songs, which are rather patriotic and romantic and uh, other types of songs were composed from, by the Mizo people. And uh, with the coming of these types of song, new song was introduced by the Missouri and the, the, uh, uh, they translated uh, the Western hymns into Mizo songs and they were mainly employed in the worship services of the Mizo. So after that, uh, not feeling enough with the translated Western songs. Uh, so uh, many gifted Mizo songwriters came out with, came up with songs written in their own idioms and in tune with their own indigenous ethos and conception of Christianity. Songs of, songs of worships came out, they, they, were, they came out of the indigenous sentimental and spirituality, which was called Leng Homzai, which I, I display on your left side. The people, you see two persons with drums. They are the leaders of the song. They lead the song and the rest of the community, the people, the gathering, the people who gather there will be singing together in a typically Mizo way of singing. And also the entry of Christian missionary into Mizoram uh, was followed by another type of music, which is a choral music. We can term as choral music. So the choral music was uh, uh, presented by a choir. So emerged in the lime, the choral music emerged in the limelight, which is sung by a choir with two or more voices assigned to each part. Choral music is necessarily poly polyphonic. In Mizoram context, the choir usually comprised of four parts. It is, a, uh, it is said as a four parts harmony, soprano, contralto, tenor, and bass. Uh, so this type of music had been one of the factors that made the Mizos known throughout the country or even abroad. This choral music has been adopted as one of the main ways of Mizos cooperate singing in public gathering. So not 
not only the choirs are singing that choral music, even in the public gathering, the Mizou people you, you started to sing together in Mizou chant, we, we, we call it solfazai. So we, we sing it, the people who are who gather there in that particular place uh, will sing in parts. So if you happen to be there among the Mizos uh, singing together, it will list, it will be hearing, witnessing the melodious uh, harmony of the parts uh, in, in it. And so, so a glimpse of Mizou songs, the place for singing. So in the Mizou society, uh, after 50 years of the entry of the missionaries, uh, more than 60% of the Mizos uh became christianized so christianity and worship service occupied a big role among the misos so and also the miso music were also played much more than other place but is inside the uh, church so worship service is one of the most important place where the music among the in the Mizo society is entertained. Uh, I, I display a picture of Mizo worship service here in this PowerPoint that you see you see the people standing together singing. Uh, at the center of the church, there are people walking in circle circling around uh, the ground. They are the one who are dancing while singing. So worship service bought laying homes, of which I talk, I told, uh, I have talked about the uh, indigenous Mizou way of singing, and four part singing are the main types of singing that are followed in Mizou worship service, and also the choir. Choirs usually comprise of standing members who are standing member either chosen or uh, who are voluntarily who have voluntarily given their names themselves for the members of the choir for a particular period of term. They are set up to participate in important events of the churches like conferences, meetings, and other important uh, days of the churches. Here is the picture I give you, uh, a choir presenting their singing inside the church service. And also there is another place where missos are singing uh, in a big number, that is condolence and other public uh, gathering. When a person dies, um, the whole community of that particular locality will come together at the bereaved family house, and they 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 sing to console the the bereaved family for the whole night till the uh, before the funeral, the the whole night before the funeral. This will be followed two or more days, but not the, another, uh, spending another night, but up to eight or nine o'clock uh, in the, till eight or nine o'clock in the evening. Nighttime singing is considered to be done by the youth, while daytime will be uh, done by the elderly people of the community. Events like laying of memorial stone, marriage and other family program, when public invited is invited, will always be accompanied by accompanied by corporate singing. So here is a picture I give you in uh, the Miso people who are coming, who come together in the bereaved family. Uh, one or two person will be beating the drum, leading the song, and in between them or nearby the leaders of the song will sit a woman who will tell the stanzas of the song. So that is the so uh Moe says music to the Mizo is an indispensable as air is to man and beasts. They they sing on all happy and despairing occasions. When condoling bereft family, they sing the song of condolence for the whole day and night. When attending marriage party, they sing a song of joyous, they even sing or hum tunes while they are walking or walking, walking or walking on the road. Catherine Mackenzie remarks, 
the sound of their harmonious singing and the haunting rhythm of their tribal songs can often be heard. And, uh, and in addition to these, there are there there emerge uh, many singers are singing artists uh, who take part in the worship service and other public places public uh, uh, public gatherings organized by the church or non-governmental organizations or even by the gov the government or the political parties every time a meeting is conducted, singing is considered to be a part of that music. So getting into the COVID-19 pandemic situation in the state, like anywhere else in the state, the world, COVID-19 swept Mizoram state as a whole. The first case of COVID-19 was recorded in this region on the 21st March, 2020. And the first death was recorded on the 28th October, 2020. The consultation on COVID-19 organized by the Health and Family Welfare Department, Government of Mizoram, coordinating at which the NGOs, the church, and the government officials, personnel, on the 30th of January, 2020, set up three tire task forces on mitigation of COVID-19 which are state level task force headed by the chief secretary of state, district level task force headed by the deputy commissioner and of the district and the village level task force, which are very, very much instrumental in coping up with the COVID-19 pandemic in the whole Mizoram society. They be, play a very, very crucial role. These task forces distributed their duties and responsibilities properly and have been instrumental in the fights against COVID-19 throughout the state. Periodic updates of standard operating procedures to be followed by government offices, public and task forces by the state executive committee since March 27, 2020 have been the guiding notice for the whole state of all seven 154 local village level task force have been established so far. The cooperation of the masses towards this, this task forces throughout the state has been commendable. The latest COVID-19 case update of Mizoram state as on the 27 March 2022 is there are 146 new cases on that day. There are active cases in uh, in Mizoram is presently 1,227. And from the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, the total cases so far is 2,23,793, and out of which 2,21,885 have been discharged as recovered. And we have, uh, unfortunately, 681 people who have met to get against the COVID-19. So the Mizo Society is a corporate, corporate society at which the church and the NGOs play a crucial role in maintaining civic sense, social and spiritual aspects of the society. With the guidance of God, the action that come out of the cooperation of the government, NGOs and the church have been blessed by God we can have outstanding performance in regards to the fight against COVID-19, even at the world level. These state-weight cooperation bring, bring forth public safety in return. So we will be getting into the main topic, music versus COVID-19 pandemic in Mizoram, the role of music in the pandemic situation in Mizoram. With the declaration of nationwide lockdown on the 25th of March, 2020, the Mizoram state government implemented the same lockdown in the state. This total, total lockdown had a comprehensive effect on the Mizoram society. With charter services discontinued, every public gathering disallowed, 
And the, the lockdown closed the door for music ministry inside the state. The singing community, which used to praise God together, which used to console the better family by singing together, has to learn, had to learn how to listen to the sound of dreadful silence brought about by the pandemic. Churches where the people of God used to gather together and praise God together by singing and dancing had to be closed down due to the pandemic. The very family had to spend their bereavement without their dear, dear friends who used to gather at their house singing to console them. Even the so-called celebrities of the state, which voice people long to listen to, had to learn how to be content of being without new music videos for months. The sound of music, the sound of people singing together to praise God, had been replaced by the public address system of every locality announcing the precautions given by local level task force against the COVID-19 pandemic. Everyone with an alarming eye had to look for COVID-19 news updates every day. So in such a situation, people had to look for alternative. So the first one is the importance of music is live television present worship program. So such a situation in the state has become an unwanted yet inevitable guests of the state. The hardest time has to become the highest time people long to praise God. The, the spiritual thirst for The spiritual thirst for consolation in their desperate times called for churches, church leaders to look for ways to address the dire situation of their church members. Then churches began to organize live crusade program by making use of local television service providers inside the state, which has been joined harmoniously by most of the families from home inside the state. And even abroad, those people, those Mizo people who are living abroad have joined. During this time, I was in Chennai doing my MTH time. I, with my family also did join uh, the uh, online live crusade and praise and worship conducted through television. This live crusade brought along praise groups which, who led praise and worship program through television, which was joined from their home by the people, followed by the preaching force from some well-known revival speakers of the state. This action proved to be the source of strength for many people who are loomed by the dreadful news of COVID-19 and are cornered inside their houses by providing them spiritual assurance and relief. relief. And the next one is online life crusades. Knowing the need of the people who long for someone who, to entertain them. Vanal Sailova, one of the highly esteemed and the, one of the most popular artists of Mizoram, came out with an idea to organize live crusade from his balcony, which he termed as a uh, veranda concert, which he streamed, on live, streamed live through YouTube on March 27, 2020 which earned 1,94,775 viewers online. In my interview with Mr. Van Lelsailova, he said that he wanted destruction of the minds of the people who were occupied by the fear of the pandemic. He said that his concert provided instant relief for the live viewers and those who viewed the concert later also. He was urged by the people to conduct more concert online by his, his viewers. He said, music is so powerful that and is an international language known to all. Even the, the people from other states who are living at my neighbor, even though they do not understand our dialect, they came out and joined me in my concert as their whole family. 
He said that I felt blessed and lucky to be able to provide such a relief to people. It was only because of God's grace. He also said that his music in YouTube channel, in his YouTube channel, gained a lot of viewers or views during the pandemic, much more than it has ever been before the pandemic. And Mr. C. Lazarmoya, one of the well-known songwriters of the state, started a series of family worship program, gathering popular artists in the state uh, on the 12th June 2020, which he continued to do with four times, a series of four online concert premiered. Uh, he premiered their, their, their live performances through YouTube channel. This proved to be the source of strength for the, for the feeble spirit throughout the state and even abroad. Lazar Moya also has conducted a series of four concerts through YouTube, which viewers have crossed one lakh each, which is a big number of viewers considering the population of the state. And Mr. London Puya, a church elder and songwriter conducted the same event online uh, concert. He's, he called Zalenani the day of liberation on the 25th of November, 2021, which earned uh, 349,502 views till today. In my interview with Mr. London Puya Frasel, he said, Due to COVID-19 lockdown, people listened to music much more than ever before. This pandemic in the turn provide ground for musicians and songwriters to provide satisfaction for the public. He said that he received valuable feedbacks from his, the, the, from his songs sung by the artists that some claim to have received physical healings from their sickness by listening to his song. One of his songs called Idamle Ngaidon, You Are Going to Be Fine, You Are Going to Be Okay, has received a lot of feedback from the listeners, especially the youth who have uh, anxiety and depressions also. And Mr. TBC Zaitan Puyo, one of the most popular singers of the state, said that this pandemic gave rise to many new singers, especially in the field of gospel music. He performed in quite a number of online concerts and worship at which he was invited to sing and preach. He also said that we have experienced the dreadful condition of being unable to sing during this pandemic. And he also said that his YouTube channel viewers had a giant leap during the pandemic. So from the, the statements uh, and the interview Diver, I have conducted so far, we can see that music plays a crucial role in providing shelter for uh, the wounded people who were wounded by uh, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So in, in order to conclude my paper, uh, my lecture, the sound of silence which pervaded the frightened soul has taken over the suit by has been taken over by the soothing sound of music performed by the, the, the singers and music during the pandemic in the Mizoram state provided haven for the disturbed soul as it did for King Saul, which we find in the book of Samuel chapter 16 verse 23. At the same time, the pandemic triggered the vulnerability of the people causing them to look for ways to vent out their anger, anxiety, and fears. This craving for spiritual and psychological heights out led people to escape from the dreadful reality of silence caused by COVID-19 uh, COVID pandemic. In such a situation, music in Mizoram state acted as the soothing sound to replace the frightful silence of the pandemic by bringing people closer to God. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Johanna. That was wonderful. Um, before I open this up to anyone who might have questions or um, or anything that they would like to add to this, um, I want to say a few um, statements that really um, um, echoed in my heart. Um, I, I loved um, learning so much about um, the historical aspect of music in the uh, Mizoram context. Um, and it truly broke my heart um, learning how it affected everyone during the pandemic. Uh, I know music is important to everyone, but after learning the context of how integral music is for your society, oh, <laughs> I was glad my, my video was off. <laughs> I was crying. <laughs> so I, I'm sure other people was a, definitely felt the same way or similarly. Um, I thought it was um, pretty interesting. Um, um, so many um, artists who, um, or ministers who uh, brought their presence online or expanded it because of this. Um, and um, I thought it was interesting. Uh, Mr. London, who you interviewed, um, um, spoke about reports of physical healing through music. Uh, because of the concerts um, and um, your reflection that um, music provided a haven and wanted to, I might put it here in the chat for others, um, um, alluded to um, 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel 16 and 23. I'm going to put it in the chat so others can, um, can look that up or remember that um, for their own records later on. Um, Samuel, Sam. You well, <laughs> uh, 16, 23. Um, I am very grateful for your presence today and um, want to thank you on behalf of everyone. Now, uh, uh, this is a time we would like to open for anyone um, wanting to ask questions of Reverend Joanna um, or um, provide any feedback from his lecture. Thank you. And you can raise your hand or put um, questions in the chat. May I? Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Reverend Zona, for the very beautiful presentations. And yeah, the way how you present, you have, I mean, without the historical uh, <clears throat> informations, how the music, I mean, had been began to use in Mizoram or in Mizo context, and also presenting to us very beautifully how music was the source of comfort and an encouragement for the people of Mizo, especially, uh, I mean, during the lockdown in Mizoram and how very popular and well-known singers are taking mm -hmm. steps and coming out to reach out to people through the uh, online platform like YouTube live streaming. Yeah, that was really a wonderful thing to hear. And yeah, as, I listened to your presentations, especially the uh, first part of the uh, presentations. Uh, one thing that comes into my mind, uh, seeing the uh, presentations on the historical context, especially the uh, musical instruments and the songs used by our four parents. Thus, the musical instruments used by our four parents still used or survive in Mizoram. Uh, this is one thing that I wanted to know. And how does the church perceive the pre-Christian pre songs and musical instruments? All those uh, still used in, I mean, uh, even today or especially in the church context? Yeah, if you can, yeah enlighten us more on this. Yeah, thank you so much. 
Shall I go to answer, moderator? <clears throat> okay, thank you. Uh, uh, <clears throat> tonight, uh, Reverend Dr. Rosea is with us also. He, has, he can give uh, a complimentary answers beyond my, the answers I can provide. Uh, he is a, a senior pastor to me also, in addition to whatever I could give the answer to the questions. Uh, yeah, are the musical instrument which was which were used uh, in, in, in the previous days still being used in your present uh, Mizou music? Is the question, the first question. Yes, uh, they are used. Uh, but the present Mizou music is uh, somewhat like uh, so much highly westernized. But there are... Uh, but there, there is a there has come out uh, some sort of software or synthesizers who, who which are used to create soundtracks uh, like uh, fruity loops, nuendo, and other types at which they can make the piece of that particular piece of music like the the the, the flute or the drum or the gong, which were uh, used can be electrified now. So they, they record it in their system and make use of it in, uh, in, in their music track also. So uh, we can say in some sense, it, they are still being used. Uh, at the same time, uh, they are not much physically uh, taken out and used uh, other than some uh, traditional or cultural events which happen to be uh, organized inside the in the state, like a festival, Chapsarkut, or Mimkut, or any other uh, events. Uh, and the, the second question is, uh, the pre-Christian songs, uh, what is the reaction given by the church leaders? Yeah, this is what uh, uh, one of my big concerns, uh, uh, because I would like to uh, keep them inside the church personally, uh, even though I... I, I I don't say that I don't agree with the church leaders, but if we can make use of this uh, uh, traditional Mizo songs or music inside the church, uh, the, the spirituality which comes along with the songs which were sung, but sung uh, in the, with this Mizo sentiment will create a sense of, uh, how to say, being there a sense of being there in the music itself uh, among the measles. But there are so many people who have seen the people in the olden days uh, singing along with the, the drinks in the, in the uh, chief's house, the, the king's house, uh, and mixing with some drinks. The, they still envisualize it and they cannot allow it to be taken into the church. But at the same time, as I have mentioned, we have a particular Mizo uh, worship song, which is completely Mizo in its form, which is not a Western nor nor necessarily a uh, traditional Mizo song, but it is a very very uh, particularly uh, Mizo music. So that is highly uh, made use in our worship service. So we can say that. Yes, in some way. At the same time, still uh, a no to the traditional music in some sense. And Dr. Rosia can also uh, add some uh, points in, in that regard also. Okay, seems uh, Reverend Johanna, uh, <clears throat> he uh, called out my name. Let me also add something. Concerning the pre-Christian songs, of course, at the beginning of our Christianity, the church, which was guided by missionary, was very strict and it was considered as unchristians. But in Mizoram, since 1906, we are having this, what we call, revival movement. That is time when people strongly, how to say, uh, enthusiastically sing praise God with their own tune. And maybe because of that pressure, 
that Charles could uh, could not uh, so strict concerning the use of uh, traditional drums and all. So we we make use of drums uh, in our Charles services. And yes, after some time, and then yes, uh, there has been uh, a new music coming out. Uh, maybe uh, it is a mixture of Western music and traditional music. So in today's world, we have hybrid hybrid theory like that. Not so not so Mizo, but not so Western. That kind of uh, song has been uh, composed, and then we are using now those songs. And that is what uh, Reverend Johanna said, Leng Homzai, that means community singing. So with that, we can sing the whole night during revival time. Uh, revival means singing enthusiastically. That is the advantage that we had. And in, in recent, most recent times, uh, there is a revival, cultural revival. So some people and also some choir, uh, they, they produce that kind of uh, traditional folk music and very interesting. That is my compliment. And also concerning uh, what is very interesting is that uh, Reverend Johanna pointed out some singers, local singers like Van Lal Sailabat, TBC, Zaitan Puya, and other names like Nun Puya, Elder Nun Puya. So they were very good singer. Not only that they were composer, not only that they were also, uh, they could preach. They could preach like, uh, how to say, preach with power, like revival speaker. So that is the advantage that we had here. And yes, just type their name in your YouTube Vandal Sailava and how many, how many songs you can you can listen from him. So it is, I think, uh, very interesting. And also, I am one of the <coughs> members of uh, 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 one of the members of uh, organizing committee of Mizoram Cross Crusade. During uh, those period, uh, we we organize a crusade, uh, what is a con conventional meeting. Uh, basing on cross. And then, yes, we collected uh, the top singers from Isol and it's around. And also, we also uh, have this praise team. With that, I think many people are blessed by, by that crusade. And yes, mainly not because of the preachers and their messages, but those singers with their music, uh, people's life have been revived. And one more thing which I would like to say is that uh, during those pandemic uh, tyranny, uh, not only that problem, but we also face problem from our neighboring state that is Assam uh, concerning uh, boundary issue. And they had stopped supplies of food and essential commodities almost uh, one month. And we are struggling uh, two things. One is COVID and also uh, border disputes, boundary issues. And during those days, people actually were very down. But with our music, our composers and our singers, we can survive that kind of difficulties. So Reverend, uh, I congratulate Reverend Johanna for documenting all those uh, interesting stories. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Would anyone else like to add? Can can I add a little point? So, uh, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Uh, presently, the, the Mizu Church can sing inside the church. Now we can dance inside our church by God's grace, uh, but we still have to cover our mouths and still have to follow the standard operating procedure of the COVID-19 appropriate behavior. But looking at the people uh, singing and dancing around inside the church, it is really, really a big experience and uh, awesome uh, experience for us, which after uh, a long period of a gap, uh, which, we, which made us unable to sing, have a corporate singing together inside the church. Yeah, hope, hopefully we will uh, continually be able to have it in our, inside the church nonstop after this time onward.
Okay, well, thank you so much for this time with us this evening. Um, and I'm sure that all of us are blessed by learning more about your context. And um, even uh, in the chat, we have a, a song that we can listen to and we can share with people in our context as well. Um, thank you. And thank you everyone for joining us this day. Thank you so much, Reverend Johanna Wangchia. It was an incredible presentation with massive creativity. We feel we are already in Mizora. Thank you so much indeed for exploring ethnic history, geographical history, a glimpse of Mizo music, classification of Mizo music, the major themes of Mizo music and various musical instruments. You unpack a lot of things. Really, it's a great feast to our minds. I thank uh, Reverend Alfred Sudarshan Raju for praying in this webinar. Thank you very much, Aya, for joining with us. I also thank the moderator for this session, Michele Crowder, for meticulously moderating this session. Thank you very much, Michele, for joining with us. Our profound thanks to our ECC director, Professor Reverend Dr. Shanti Thomas Achin, for his dynamic leadership, prayers, and guidance. Thank you very much, Achin, for all your guidance. I thank our Deputy Director as well, Tangmin Lunwepe, for his leadership and guidance. The question for uh, this week is, explore various musical instruments of Mizoram, how Mizo gospel music has been emerged and given opportunities during the pandemic. Let me repeat, explore various musical instruments of Mizoram, how Mizo gospel music has been emerged and given new opportunities during the pandemic. Our next presentation will be on 4th of April, 2022 by Ms. Sherry Tang from Taiwan. We'll be listening how music in Taiwan has been shaped and emerged during this pandemic. Thanks to all of you for joining with us. I request Reverend Johanna to play that post lute song. Okay, uh, thank you. The, the song which I am about to present here is the, that particular song which we used to, we say, which was a gift from God. So they, this, this song is mainly uh, a song longing for the heaven. So a condolent song uh, presented by the Mizo people. Okay, I. Is it audible? Yes, it is audible, Johanna. Okay.
with you. Thank you, Reverend Johanna, and also to Reverend Crowder for moderating and also for the wonderful presentation and for, to the, all these friends who have participated in this. Thank you so much.